and grow YouTube show. A lot of people um, don't love that sort of like, I'm just going to say like hippie 70s style that it's uh-huh. so funny. Like, yeah, like my mom is just like, uh, uh-uh. uh, um, and so what we wanted to do was we wanted to create a plant hanger option that we thought would work really well for a variety of different, um, home styles. And so we did this, uh, modern sort of beaded. There's actually no knotting in it at all. Um, well, there, there's a knot, there are knots to, to finish it off, but there's no actual knotting. Mm -hmm. And so, um, it's, I mean, honestly, it's very few supplies. We used, um, macrame cord. We used a, a handful of beads and we used some wooden rings and we just created this, uh, plant hanger depending on what color you use, you can also, like I said, everything's sort of adjustable. So we used raw wood beads and rings, but you can also stain them or you can paint them or you can do whatever. You can use any color cord you want, any type of cord. You can use hemp or something if you still do want that sort of um, like yeah. boho so yeah, style. But um, so this and you'll be able to see in the book all the instructions but we basically took a wooden ring took a couple pieces of of cord and did a did a knot on them and then we just sort of strung the beads in this way where we used beads and then we used in between the wood rings and honestly, like you can see, there's like knots, but there's no actual knotting. It's like normal knots, like the way you would, yeah. like a double, like the way you would double knot a shoelace. Right. And so then we do some beading at the top and then at the bottom, we slide in a bead. That's where the plant sits. And then we do a knot, but then all you have to do is spread the, um, the cord yeah uh apart in order to sit the pot in there and you can't see it I have one in the corner um and it's just really cool because it brings a little bit of style and a little bit of like um almost like modern art kind of to the plant hanger but it's super simple this probably took me like maybe 10 minutes um to make so it's fun and then you can always like so I love this, this mustard kind of color is a color that I have a lot of in my home. So I really love this, but my guess is probably in about six months, I'll be sick of the mustard color and I'll, another color will be my favorite color. Um, so then you can just even unknot it, use the beads for another color if you want. I mean, it's like so versatile. So um, this is one of the projects that we did. And I just, this one was fun for me because I felt like, of course, my kids wanted to join in on the fun and it was so easy that they could do it. So, yeah, so we have, gosh, I have like three of them up in my house right now. And it's just a little different from plant hangers you can buy or. um, Yeah, it's like a fresh modern take. And I love it's literally probably five dollars of supplies. Oh, yeah, if that short because mine took so long and it's kind of a nod to the past. It's a nod to the old school macrame. Yeah, but it's modern. You could do brass fixtures like you could do Mm -hmm. brass or beads and make it kind of more glam. You could do all sorts of stuff to kind of whatever your home decor is like. But it's truly as simple as putting some cord at the top of your first wooden circle and we Mm -hmm. will have some photos in the show notes so people can visually just the minute you look at the photo in the show notes you're gonna you'll know yeah exactly what we're talking about but it's as simple as it could be as simple as a ring on the top cords knotted to it a bead on the bottom and then sitting the pot but the fact that you get the opportunity to kind of express yourself a little bit Mm -hmm. people who love jewelry making I feel like I've seen jewelry making back in I feel like I'm seeing it on TikTok um so it's kind of a fun 
modern kind of riff on that kind of old school macrame hanger that sometimes doesn't necessarily fit into our space. Yeah. And I think, I mean, like I said, I, a friend of mine who has a very, very much like a farmhouse look, um, I made her one. I just used sort of like the, the bluish gray color Mm -hmm. and I used the, um, I stained the wood rings with a little bit of a, like a, a darker finish and Mm. it just looks really cool and it fits in her house perfectly but you know I mean you can put them in pretty much any style home talk about a Christmas gift what a brilliant Christmas yeah you could tailor them for or a holiday gift you could tailor them for whoever you're making them and it's like such a beautiful expensive looking gift but it probably costs you like seven dollars yeah and you know we also in the book you'll see um we made one that we just stuck a um an air plant in too Mm -hmm. so if you wanted something if you didn't want to mess with the dirt like a potted plant or anything you could also do like a really cool zero graphica or something like that in that hanger and then you don't have to worry about dirt getting everywhere you can ship it easier so yeah